talk a little bit more about what Wall Street's expecting today from the Fed and what a rate cut might mean for the markets. Joining us for that is David Wessel. He's the director of the Hutchins Center on Fiscal and Monetary Policy at the Brookings Institution. Also, Neil <coughs> Irwin, who is senior economics correspondent for The New York Times, and our senior economics reporter, Steve Leisman, who is not going away. He's staying right here for this conversation, too. Our guest host, Ken Longone, also staying here. Um, Neil, let me just ask you. One quick uh, thought on what the repo activity means. Is this something, <coughs> this discussion we were just having, is this something that you kind of look at and say it, it's okay for the moment? Yeah, I think so. This isn't a solvency issue like 2007 was. Uh, this is a technical mistake that uh, the markets desk of the New York Fed made. They've had some turnover there. Uh, I, I don't view this as something that's really telling us something about the economy. What do you think, David, in terms of what the Fed should be doing today? Well, I think that the, I think the repo thing is a technicality, but I think it is a problem because there's two things that the central bank has to do. Move interest rates the right way at the right time and look like it knows what it's doing. And this <laughs> undermines the latter. I and agree. so I think I expect, as everybody else does, the Fed to cut rates a quarter point today. But I think there'll be a lot of focus on what Jay Powell says about going forward. And he's had problems in the past explaining what is their reaction function, as economists and market people call it, what will lead them to cut rates. So I, I think cutting rates today is the right decision. There are risks to the outlook and the risks to having too much inflation are relatively minor, in my view. I think it's a close call, and there's a lot of discussion at the Fed and some dissent. I think the really hard thing is for them to say what do they expect to do for the rest of the year and not confuse people more than they are already. Steve, what are the, the risks in terms of what he says and how the market reacts to it? Well, uh, it's kind of interesting. There may be some reporter out there, some enterprising reporter, that's going to ask the Fed chairman, is this a mid-cycle adjustment or not, right? I mean, it was the phrase mid-cycle adjustment that uh, suggested that this was a limited series of rate cuts that caused the market to, to have a bit of a fit last time around. Uh, and then they kind of rethought it and it came back and it was okay. Uh, but the question is, are we now in an easing cycle? And really, to David's point, a kind of framework has been lacking here. David, I'm going to throw this back at you. Uh, you're going to cut rates, and I raise my hand. I say, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Wessel, um, you're cutting rates based on which particular data? I get the idea that the outlook and the risks are bad, but what data do you point to for a rate cut, David? I think they would have to say that um, the, they're... They're worried about the global output, the global outlook, the slowing of the global economy. But, 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 Mr. Chairman, on, but, Mr. but, but, Mr. Chairman, but, Mr. Chairman, what data? Right. What data? Well, you said risk. I asked you about the data. You told me you were data dependent. Now you're uh, telling me you're not data dependent anymore, <laughs> Mr. Chairman? No, I'm, I, I point to the German data and the Japanese data, and then you'll oh. ask me, are you the central bank of the world? Well, exactly. They have, they, have to, they have to move based on what they expect to happen to the economy. But I think you're absolutely right. He has to decide, is this risk management, mid-cycle adjustment, just a little bit to protect us against a bad downturn? Or do we think the economy is really tanky and this is the beginning of a series? And I think the problem is he won't want to answer that question. He doesn't have a consensus on the Federal Open Market Committee. And unlike some previous chairs, he's not willing to say, the heck with what this big argument we had at the committee. Let me tell you what my story is about the economy and where I'm going. And I think that's why he's having trouble with the press conference. You know what I wish? What? I wish Larry Lindsay or Kevin Warsh were in that room this afternoon. We need, we need some more balance. I, I think that what's going on now with rates is nuts. It's nuts. From balance, you just mean people who are a little more hawkish on this. It, yeah, look. Kevin Warsh had, had said if they want to do anything, they should shrink the balance sheet, not exactly. start with the rates. Uh, look, we want to be careful that we don't get the world to believe that we can manage ourselves into prosperity ad infinitum. That, recessions are like diets. You need one every once in a while. <laughs> I'm not saying we should force one. But I think this concern we have and what's going on here, a quarter of a point, what the hell does it mean? It's the message you're sending that bothers me. You're again encouraging excess of speculation, and that does not have a happy ending at some point. Can That's we wait till 2021 for the next recession, Ken? <clears throat> for the next yeah. diet? <laughs> I'm kidding. I think I'm we're, kidding. I, by kidding. the way, I, I don't see it. Maybe 
maybe Steve may disagree with me. I think this economy is in pretty good shape. Right. I know. For the I next agree year with you, two. Ken. I've been I've been the one who's been saying it, it's in good shape for well, quite see, a while. We're finally here. in agreement. Look at that. I mean, finally look, I, I enjoy together. I enjoy agreeing with you, Ken. I think you're a nice and really smart guy, and you've been very <laughs> successful. And uh, congratulations on all your philanthropy, which I see every time I drive in New York, which is a big help to the community you live in. So all well, I hope that you said, can use us. I, I hope, hope I don't need it. Hope, I hope I don't need any of your stuff. No, no, there, you Ken. want to have a physical or something? A or physical you want or something, have, yeah, know? but not, not for the serious stuff. You no, no, but right. look, I think the economy's been in good shape. I think a lot of people abandoned what they thought about the economy. I, I don't want to talk. I want to give Neil the last word. He's been patient Go ahead. and staying there. Neil, how do you. If you're, yeah, you got to answer this quickly. If you're <laughs> Powell, how do you work your way out of this, this issue? I think dilemma. you go back to the mid-cycle adjustment idea. I think it's a, it's a useful idea that uh, markets didn't like last time, but it looks more accurate than, than some of these other descriptions.